Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. The Olympics have been targeted and infiltrated by the left, unfortunately. The opening ceremony was heavily disgraced by mocking Christianity, specifically by mocking and degrading Jesus Christ and him having the Last Supper with his 12 disciples. It was performed by a bunch of drag queens and homosexuals. You would think it'd be Christian actors, but no, they didn't want to have Christian actors on TV. The left says they don't believe in Jesus Christ or God, but yet here they are mocking his image. They're mocking Christianity. They're mocking the biblical doctrine and his works throughout the entire Bible. And it's funny because you rarely ever see Christians, if ever see Christians attacking homosexuality and making fun of the homosexual community, the LGBT, WXYZ community. We don't make fun of them. We just simply tell them the truth with loving hearts because that's what God called us to do. We never go out and try to verbally and physically and visually attack the gay community. We never do that, but these drag queens and these homosexuals have no problem degrading the culture, more so the religion of Jesus Christ and his biblical doctrine. You will never, and I mean never see anyone in the world go out into public and publicly degrade the religion of Islam. You will never see anyone dehumanize or disrespect the religion of Buddhism. You will never see anyone disrespect or dehumanize the religion of Judaism. But with Christianity, the so-called religion, most people in the world, not just in America, don't believe in, but they have no problem mocking Jesus Christ and his word. So it's like, if you don't care what we have to say and you don't care what religion we believe in, why do you have to mock and disrespect what we believe in? And that's what the Olympics, and that's what more so France thought was acceptable. They thought it was funny. And then they try to come up with an apology saying, I'm sorry, we didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It was out of line. We apologize to those who were offended. If you were truly sorry, you would have never done it in the first place, period. You would have never thought up, hmm, how can we publicly outrage Christians for the Olympics? Hmm. Hey, why don't we get a couple of drag queens and homosexuals and have them perform the Last Supper for the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games? That sounds like a great idea. This is the Olympics. Let it be about athletics. Why do you have to keep shoving your sexual preferences down our throats and in our faces? We don't do that with Christianity. We're open for all to listen to what we have to say, but we don't shove it down your throats and we don't shove it in your faces the way homosexuals do with their sexual preferences. Now, with Iman Khalif, the trans woman who decided it was appropriate to fight an actual female boxer by the name of Angela Carini, an Italian boxer. I got a lot of backlash on this on TikTok. You can go follow me if you don't on TikTok because I got a lot of backlash on that post. I said it there, I'll say it here, and I'll keep on saying it. Iman Khalif is not a natural born woman. He is not a female. He is a natural born male with XY chromosomes. But no, the, the world, especially these feminists are going so hard for this guy to say that he has a, she has a medical condition where she was born with an extra Y chromosome. Let's say Iman Khalif is 
a female. Let's just say he is. If she was born a female, why didn't the doctors or the people that ran the Olympics ceremony and at the IBA uh, competition of last year of where she competed at, why didn't they say that she had uh, breasts? Why didn't they say that she had double X chromosomes? Why didn't they say she had a vagina, a uterus? Oh, that's right. Because she doesn't. More so, he doesn't. He has a penis. He has male genitalia. He has XY chromosomes. It's come to the point where no one can tell if this is a man or if this is a woman. We have now gotten to that point, not just in America, but in the entire world. And that's sad. We're just pointing out that if you were born with XY chromosomes, you don't have a mental or, excuse me, you don't have a physical defect, you clearly have male genitalia, then what's wrong with saying that, that, that that's a man? What is wrong with saying the truth? What's wrong with speaking biological facts? What's wrong with saying the scientific truth? It's because people don't want to hear it. They want to live in their own head they want to stick their head in the sand. They want to block out all the noise from the world's top researchers, from the world's best doctors. One of them even came out and said, oh yeah, Iman Khalif, he has male genitalia. Just like the IBA competitions last year. He tried to enter, but he was disqualified from fighting because he tested for testosterone. He had a high level of testosterone. I don't want to hear the whole, well, intersex uh, females can have high levels of testosterone. Even if that was the case, that female should not be fighting other females who don't have high levels of high testosterone. Because she's easily going to win. So it won't be a fair fight. I said it on TikTok. I'll say it here. And I'll keep on saying it. Iman Khalif is not a female. He is a natural biological male with XY chromosomes proven by a doctor that checked him out at the IBAs because he had a high level of testosterone. What medical doctor would lie about that? About a male having male genitalia, male DNA, which you cannot replicate or mutate in any way, shape or form and having male producing hormones. I'm sorry that if this is offending some people or if it's hurting your feelings, but the truth has to be said. All of this has to be said. The left is purposefully mocking the right. They're mocking Jesus Christ. They are allowing males to get into the ring to fight females because they do not care about the safety of natural born females. And that's just a fact. Now females can't even fight in their own categories in sports anymore. They can't go into the changing rooms with other natural born females anymore. They can't go to the bathroom with natural born females anymore. They can't even go to a spa to see other natural born females anymore. And if they call them out, these men out for being predators, for being sexual perverts, they're the ones that get backlash. They're the ones that get suspended or expelled from school. They're the ones that get blacklisted. They're the ones that get called homosexual bigots because they don't want a man in a female space, and rightfully so. Those are my thoughts and feelings on the horrible representation of the Olympics that happened and is still going on today. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another video of mine. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It would help out very much. And if you have any differing opinions, beliefs, or thoughts, Please feel free to share them down below in the comments section. 
that would be nice to hear what you have to say or think. And if you really enjoyed this video, please hit the share button. You can share with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your neighbors down the street, so on and so forth. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for future videos on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching yet again, and I'll see you guys next time.